why would I wait 45 minutes? And my food is right there, and I paid for it, so let me just give you my food, because my Uber guy is still not here. He's another 45 minutes, that's two and a half hours now. Yeah. My food's right there. Give me my sandwich. I'm hopping over this bitch. I'm grabbing my food. Okay, I ain't playing. Yeah. It's my food right there. All right. I paid for that. All right. Let's do it. All right. All right. Because I'm going to hop over this bitch. Trust me. No. Nah, I paid for my sandwich. I get my sandwich. I don't give a I don't give a Give me my sandwich. I paid. Call the police. It's my sandwich. I paid for that. I don't give a I paid for my sandwich. I'm grabbing my sandwich. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Call the police. It's my damn sandwich. You guys, I paid for this. Call them. My name's Rob Haverson. Let them know. Stupid. Pay for this. Hopefully it's my sandwich. You heard that at the end, right? Hopefully it's my sandwich. <laughs> he didn't know that it was his sandwich or not. He just assumed it. But let me highlight a couple of things here. When you go into an establishment, the people who are working there, they are professionals. It doesn't matter if they don't get paid the most money. Because decent people do not equate your human value based on your economic status. Only people who are not decent do that. They deserve respect regardless of why you don't have your food. It was not them who called Uber for you, you called that damn Uber. And if Uber is late delivering your food, sir, you then write a letter to Uber Eats rather than doing what you did by violating those at that establishment. Now, I'm sure you're the kind of person that if somebody would have decided to handle you in the way you came, meaning they would have physically removed you from their establishment, you would be crying that they assaulted you. But let's be honest, the only reason you went back there is because you thought you could get away with it. That's why. They deserve to be treated with respect. And as long as people keep doing these things to individuals who are in our service industries, we will support our service industry and we will support those people who care enough to make our damn food. All right, I know some guys that if you would have came in, they would have said, sir, we got you a special order. All kind of extra <laughs> sauces would have been in your sandwich. <laughs> All right, Ben. Yeah, I mean, instead of assault, this <laughs> male Karen got a salt and pepper packet in his sandwich that he just, <laughs> right. he just jacked from this place. Look, it's amazing at the end of the video and he was TikToking it. So who knows if that was just said for the camera at the very end, but I hope this is my sandwich. It's just a lack of respect for people yeah. that do the work, people that are making that sandwich. And also, it's not like it's not like it's the fault of the people working at this place. And it's not a five star restaurant. Even at a five star maybe at a five star restaurant, you can expect a certain level of quick service, maybe when you're paying a, you know, fifty dollars for a for a, for, for a coffee at the end of your meal or something. I never even understood people have coffee at the end of their meals. It seems like it's, gonna, it's just gonna keep you up. It seems like a morning drink for me. But this guy's, it, it, it's been said, Karens can be dudes too. Yep. And, like, and like I've said, and I probably will say it in my special next week, we just need a more chill planet without a Karen in the world. <laughs> I love it, brother.